Well, the dumbassery continues. This one here, brought to you by Torian Rain Reloaded. I have no idea what that means, but the title is Data Breach Exposes the Enemy on the Outside, Helping Our Enemy on Their Side. Okay. You're going to notice the oxygen levels must have been pretty low wherever this dude lived. Hello out there. I am trying to get through. With his powerful brainwaves cradled in the warmth of reasoning, it's time for Johnny Walker Dread to straighten you out on a thing or two. Emanating all the way from exciting Las Vegas, Oklahoma, it's the Johnny Walker Dread Show. Alrighty, let her rip. Before I get started with this video, shout out to Craig for sending me this article. Now I want y'all to pay attention to not only the title of the article, but the sub headline as well. It says U.S. police and public officials donated to Kyle Rittenhouse data breach reveals. That's not surprising. We were supposed to pay special attention to the title so that you could tell us it was not surprising. Okay. Officers and officials also donated to fundraisers for far-right activists and fellow officers accused of shooting black Americans. That also is very not surprising. So why are we wasting our time on this? Especially since when, you, when two come to mind, Darren Wilson, because that man literally became an overnight millionaire after what happened with, um, with Mike Brown. I have no idea what the hell he's talking about. He doesn't know what the hell he's talking about. Mike Brown's family sued and got money. Darren Lewis didn't get anything. They did raise some donations for him, but by all accounts, he's working low-paying jobs to make ends meet. He's not a millionaire. But let's not that stop us. Hell, man, if we want to just say he's a millionaire, we just do it. And then George Zimmerman, when he got the money that he received, well, whatever he has left of it, because he probably spent it all and it's probably dried up by now, George Zimmerman received a summary judgment of nothing. The judge threw out his case against NBC. Yes, he is suing the family of Trayvon Martin, but I don't believe that he has even gone into court yet. He hasn't received any money as far as I know. Maybe I missed it. I don't think I did. Of the money that he got after he murdered Trayvon Martin. Uh, he was acquitted, asshole. But you see, they don't believe in innocent until proven guilty. They absolutely do not believe that. In fact, they don't believe in trials. If it was up to him, and we all know this is the truth, if it was up to him, there wouldn't be a trial for these guys. So, and I'm sure that some of these agencies were some of the ones that were donating to their cause. Uh, I doubt it very much, actually, but okay, let's just go ahead and say it anyway. And I bet you I'm going to go through this article and they're not going to mention anything about them actually having captured Kyle Rittenhouse. This this uh, pipsqueak has been literally MIA for the last, what, month to two months. And it's amazing. They don't really talk about it anymore. Gee, maybe if you paid attention to the news, you'd know why. Because he's not missing in action. It's freaking incredible how much these people don't know. It's not a big secret that Kyle showed up in court and the judge made him reveal his address to the judge and to the sheriff and not to ADA Binger. Where in the hell has he been? In a cave? But that's the way it is. They don't know anything. They're just stupid. And they just keep doing this stuff. And all of the minions just lap it up. Look, I mean, this is not a difference of opinion here. He's stating crap that is factually incorrect. But they, they know where he is. They, yes, they know where he is. They know exactly where he is. Yes. Because they're, they're probably the ones that are hiding him. Who's hiding him? <laughs> he has this picture of Kyle being secured down in some basement somewhere. Where nobody knows where he is. The court knows where he is and the sheriff knows where he is. And that's all that need to know where he is. And one person who definitely doesn't need to know where he is, is you. And why is that? Because you're probably the type that would do something. 
They're hiding him from people like you. A data breach at a Christian crowdfunding website has revealed that serving police officers and public officials have donated money to fundraisers for accused vigilante murderers, far right activists and fellow officers accused of shooting black Americans. Now, pay attention to that. Yeah, we, we, we know it. Yeah, it's not hard to pay attention to. It makes sense. We know what happened. It didn't say black people. It said black Americans. Remember, words matter. Okay, I'm not seeing it, but okay. In many of these cases, the donations were attached to their official email addresses, raising questions about the use of public resources in supporting such campaigns. The breach shared with journalists by Transparency Group Distributed Denial of Secrets revealed the details of some donors who had previously attempted to conceal their identities using Give, Send, Go, Anonymity feature. But whose identifying details the website preserved. The beneficiaries of donations from public officials include Kyle Rottenhouse. Oh, he calls him Kyle Rottenhouse. What a hell of a journalist we got going here. Who stands accused of murdering two left. So clever. So clever. You see how he did that? He changed written to rotten because rotten is bad. So he named it Kyle Rottenhouse. Left wing protesters in Kenosha, Wisconsin last August. Ryan House traveled with weapons from neighboring Illinois to, by his own account, offer armed protection to businesses during protests over the police shooting of Jacob Blake. I don't know who wrote this. I'm going to have to look it up, but that's factually incorrect. And if you had followed the news, you would know it's factually incorrect. He did not carry weapons into Wisconsin. Ryan House, who became a cause of Celebra. <laughs> nice try across conservative media throughout the late 2020 and was even supported by then 45 held a fundraiser on Gibson go billed as a contribution to his legal defense that's right he needs money to help pay for his legal expenses so he set up guess what a fundraiser that's what you do and by the way crystal kaiser who's a young black female did the same thing she also set up a fundraiser. People donated to that fundraiser, and I'm glad they did. She needs legal representation. But you probably wouldn't have any problem with donations to her. He literally gained almost half, over half a million dollars. Which is promptly going to go to the legal team. It's not going to be, he's not going to be driving around a new Ferrari. Y'all, just just putting that out there. But this is who this is who they support. This is this is the fabric right here of America in a nutshell. He is accused. He is he has not been convicted. He is innocent until proven guilty. And there are plenty of people out there who watch the footage of the video, which you didn't do, who think that he is innocent. And if you believe that he is innocent, there's nothing wrong with giving money to his defense cause. It's perfectly ethical. Unless you don't believe in trials. And again, he doesn't. This is the new left. And they don't believe in trials. It is not an exaggeration to say that they don't believe in trials. If Derek Chauvin, and by the way, I have not weighed in on Derek Chauvin. I have not taken a lot of interest in that case. And so don't go around claiming that I'm worked up over that. But I will say this. If there was an opportunity to just jail Derek Chauvin forever without a trial, they'd have done it. Who in here thinks they wouldn't have been all in favor of that? This is the new left. And civil liberties, freedoms, Rights don't mean anything to them. Uh, among the donors were several associated with email addresses traceable to police and other public officials. One donation for $25 made on September 3rd last year was made anonymously, but associated with the official email address for Sergeant William Kelly, who currently serves as the executive officer of internal affairs at, in the Norfolk Police Department in Virginia. Actually, they fired him over it. And he'll probably sue, and he has a good chance of winning. If a person can get fired 
for donating $25 to a defense fund, you have no due process at all. Whatever you signed in your bargaining agreement does not apply anymore. This is the new left. They don't believe in rights. In due process. <laughs> Virginia, again, no surprise there. That donation also carried a comment reading, God bless. Thank you for your courage. Keep your head up. You've done nothing wrong. So it sounds like the police officer thinks that Kyle is innocent of the charges. But you see, you're not allowed to hold those opinions anymore. This is not just a, a war on actions, which can be understandable. This is a war on opinion because they don't believe the same things that this guy does. They want him fired. This is ideological. And we haven't seen this kind of thing happen since Pol Pot. The comment continued, every rank and file police officer supports you, and I bet you they do. Don't be discouraged by actions of the political class of law enforcement leadership. Another Rotten House donor using an official email address was Craig Shepard, who public records show is a paramedic in Utah. This donor gave $10 to Rotten House on August 30th. Now, listen to these positions that these people had. These are probably people that you might be around. And you right. That might actually defend you if you get unfairly accused, who might be willing to look at the camera footage and decide guilt or innocence based on the evidence in front of them. But that's not what he wants. He wants the determination of guilt or innocence according to what the mob wants. You wouldn't even know. Donations also came to Rotten House associated with official email addresses for Keith Silvers, an employee of the city of Huntsville, Alabama, and another $100 was associated with the official address of Michael Crossley, an engineer at the Lawrence Livermore National Laboratory, a body which is charged with maintaining the U.S.'s nuclear weapons stockpile. Yeah, and so because a person who thinks that Kyle Rittenhouse is innocent, well, you can't trust him near nuclear weapons. By the way, he shows a real ignorance about Lawrence Livermore. He makes it look like, well, if you're an engineer at Lawrence Livermore, well, you just have your finger on the button. Lawrence Livermore probably has thousands of engineers working there. And none of them have any impact on nuclear weapons. This is what happens when you don't have any education in schools. And yeah, I do know about Lawrence Livermore National Labs. Meanwhile, several Wisconsin police officers donated to a fundraiser to support Rustin Chesky, held for the Kenosha Police Department. Officers whose shooting of black man Jacob Blake led to the protest that drew Ryan House to the city, which, by the way, and I've already mentioned this in my live stream by the time this video goes up. Yeah, Shevsky, he was the one, let me see here, that they didn't bring charges against because the evidence showed that he acted justifiably. But see, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that he thinks that Shevsky is guilty. And if the mob thinks that Shevsky is guilty, then donating to Shevsky's defense is some sort of crime. We used to have a court system here that would determine innocence or guilt. But not anymore. He's back on he's back on the, on the force. He got a shot back. Remember, he didn't get charged for anything nothing for that's right he wasn't charged for anything because the state looked at the evidence and they looked at the law and they decided that the evidence supported Shevsky. that's why he wasn't charged dumbass shooting this man seven times in the back and paralyzing him for the rest of his life he got charged with nothing and he just returned back to work last week Right, because he's entitled to his job. Another anonymous donation was associated with Keith A. Gehring, who was listed as a school resource officer lieutenant. Yeah, okay, so they have an opinion, and they donated to a cause that supports their opinion that used to be called the First Amendment, freedom of expression, and donating Money to a legal defense is a pure form of freedom of expression. Well, it used to be.
they are commending and giving money to people who have, like they said, are involved with the shootings of black Americans. Now, this is not talking about Kyle Rottenhouse right now, but they're talking about like what happened with Jacob Blake and how they give money to people like that. So like they literally are paying people uh, as a job well done after they lynch us. No, that is not what they're doing. They are not giving money because these officers shot black people. They're giving money because they think that the officer was unfairly accused in the shooting. And they're only giving money to the defense for the person so that he has a fair trial. But you wouldn't know about a fair trial because you don't believe in fair trials. You want these people convicted. You don't even want a trial, and you know it. But God forbid if we were to do the same for our own and it wouldn't even have to be that extreme to what they did, then they'll have to try to find a way to either shut down the campaign or return the money to the donor before it gets to the recipient. Well, we already have a case. OK, how about Crystal Kaiser? There were people that donated money to her legal defense. She shot a white man. OK, she's accused of murder. She's accused of planning the murder. And a organization, I think it was the Chicago Community Trust, pulled together money and gave it to her so that she could bail out. I also published on at least two occasions a URL for people to donate to her cause. I have no problem with it. I'm sure as a hell not going to try to dox people because they gave her, because they gave her money. She's a young black female. The people that gave money to her are doing what these police officers did for Kyle. And for Officer Shevsky. And yet, where is the witch hunt? Because that's what this is. This is a witch hunt. We're not engaging in it. And if anybody ever tried to out a person for donating money to her cause, I would be just as pissed off about it as I am about this. She is innocent until proven guilty. She has a right to a fair trial. She has a right to raise money for adequate defense. Now, you show me where I have said anything there that is so shocking, that is so un-American. About 32 more donations totaling more than $5,000 came to Shesky from private email addresses associated with Kenosha officers, but under badge numbers rather than names. More anonymous donations on the site came from city employees of Houston, Texas, who were objecting to the actions of then, the then police chief, Art Acevedo, who fired four Houston police officers after they shot and killed a man, Nicholas Chavez, who was on his knees and in an apparent mental health crisis. Yeah, let's not mention the two white people that Art Arcevado's police officers killed in a no-knock warrant that was very similar to the one with Breonna Taylor. And guess what? It was a couple of his black police officers that set that up. They faked an informant so they could get a warrant to do a no-knock. They busted in. They shot them both, including the dog. And no mention from you, none at all, because you don't give a shit. One anonymous donation of $100 was associated with the official address of that city fire chief. Well, there you have it. But, the, have but the thing is, we didn't even really need this article to tell us that this was going on. What is going on? Support for the accused? Oh, my God. We can't have that. Now, I do like that they actually put some names out there. And it's crazy because they, these people so that you can dox them. Yeah, we're trying to be anonymous and use these fake names like, you know, usernames or whatnot. And even then they were still able to find out the people's true identity. And even with their identity being exposed, I highly doubt anything is going to happen to them. Nothing should happen to them. They're exercising their right to free speech. I highly doubt it. They're going to continue to go on with life and still continue to be the racist POSs that they've always been. You don't even know them. You haven't interviewed them. You don't know what these people are like. Might be the nicest guys on the planet, but they do think that Kyle is innocent because they watched the footage of the videos and thought, gee, you know, it looks like Kyle is being chased by the other guy, not the other way around. Well, okay, so Kyle is running. The other guy is chasing after him. 
maybe Kyle is innocent after all. And that's called an opinion. And we used to have a right to that opinion. So this was like a two for one. They first talked about how they were donating money to Kyle Rottenhouse. And he literally, they said between August and January, he gained almost $600,000 in donations. Remember, uh, what was his name? Kyle, was it Kyle Schroeder? I think that's his name. The, the actor. No, it's not Kyle Schroeder. Ricky Schroeder. From Silver Spoons gave him that large donation. It wasn't a donation. He helped bail him out. Schroeder gets his money back if Kyle shows up for the trial. He wouldn't know that. It's beyond his ability. You're talking about a particularly stupid individual here. If he's got a high school diploma, I'd be very... No, I wouldn't be surprised. Sorry, never mind. And mind you, this was Kyle Rottenhouse who killed and almost killed three white guys. Yeah. Now let's let's see how he twists that into a more negative. Not three black guys, but he right. So what's the deal? He killed two and severely injured another white guy, and they still supported him. Why? Because of the type of event in which he was at. Because um, Palm Color doesn't like BLM for their own reasons, like I said, that are different from ours. And two, because he masquerades himself as a quote-unquote patriot you looked at his facebook page he said he wants to be a cop and you know palm color loves the boys in blue he wants to be a police officer so what at one time in my life i wanted to be one too big deal a lot of people want to be police officers gee most of the people that are police officers now wanted to be police officers at one time in their lives particularly the ones that are palm colored and then the second part of this article talks about how officers and officials, like I said in the sub headline, donated to these cops who murdered or almost murdered, in the case of Jacob Blake, black Americans. Yeah, no, you cannot say that they murdered anyone until they've been convicted. Again, innocent until proven. Oh, never mind. You would never understand that. So while they have two different things. They have one major thing in common. They love to donate to trash. Pe <laughs> Wait a minute. What? Where'd that come from? Oh, never mind. People. They will spend hard earned money on trash. Individuals. I think it's safe to say that Kyle Rittenhouse and those pigs that murder black people and get away with it are all trash i don't think it's safe to say that at all i think that that's called rushing to judgment you have never met kyle you don't know anything about him you don't even know what happened that night in kenosha you have paid attention to almost none of the footage i could probably name off half the people involved in that kenosha shooting and you wouldn't even know who they are and just like i thought in this article nowhere does it mention about the whereabouts of kyle ryan house i'm telling you because we know where he is. Well, at least the people who need to know where he is know where he is. It's not an issue. Quit making it look like he's some wanted fugitive. He is not. They know where he is. There's no way he could just slip out the back door as a person as a high profile as he is, and no one knows where he's at. The ignorance is just astounding. They know where he is. Yeah. Yeah. They know where he is because Kyle told them he told the judge where he lives and he told the sheriff where he lives and the judge said that's all that needs to know where he lives you don't need to know where he lives and the reason why is pretty obvious mind you he's been quote unquote missing since like december and here we are almost like literally at the latter part of april <laughs> Kyle Rittenhouse, you know, I could just see him on the back of a boxcar, just like Merle Hager, you know, lonesome fugitive from city to city, always looking over his shoulder. Will they find me? He's probably dyed his hair a different color, like, like the fugitive, looking for the one-armed man, I suppose. In his mind, that's what it's like. Kyle Rittenhouse is on the run from safe house to safe house, guarded by patriots. <laughs>
<laughs> if, if you saw the outside of the house that Kyle's living in, uh, it's a pretty typical suburbia. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe if you have not done so already. Make sure I'm letting you know how I feel about your video. I think you're a moron. You're uneducated. You're ignorant. And all you have done is just add to the disinformation and the confusion. Research. Keep an open mind. Shed the biases. And you might learn. Ah, oh, to hell with it. He ain't gonna learn. Never gonna happen. Like my video and subscribe to my channel.